Hi guys, Carla here to talk to you about one of the new add-ons that we have since releasing the version 2 of our e Commerce product add-ons and extra options plugin. We now have the product add-on. With this one, you can showcase different products from your shop within a main product. This is a very versatile and interesting option because it allows you to create effective cross-selling strategies while giving your customers the option to assemble composite or bundled products. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create and set up the product add-on. Before we get into it, let me remind you, of course, to like this video, subscribe to our channel and hit that bell down below so that you know every time we have a new video for you. Now, let's get to it. Okay, so I'm going to be working with this camera. What I'm going to do is add two options to it and those two options are going to be two products that I have in my store. So we're going to try to encourage customers to buy these other products when buying this camera. Let's go to the dashboard. Yeet product add-ons. And we're going to add a new blog. Add options and we're going to use this add-on product the title that I'm going to use is must-haves so the first product is going to be the protective and portable case since I already have this product in my store, it already has a price. So I'm going to use the same price that this one has. So we're going to keep the option use price of linked product. Then I'm going to add a second product, which is going to be the instant film sheets. Again, I'm using the same price that the product already has in the store. So save. Now rules. And we're going to assign this block of options to the specific product Instax Mini 9 camera. Save. Let's see how it looks like in the side. Refresh. Now I have these two options. Keep in mind that these products names are a bit long. If they were shorter, then you would see one option next to the other. Let me show you that. So if I go back to the side and refresh, they're next to each other. So this is kind of a way to suggest to the customer uh, to purchase these other items. So when they're buying the camera, maybe they see that there is a case and they want to get it with it. This is a way to suggest the product. Now we could build a powerful cross-sell strategy if we added a discount to these products. Let's go back to the dashboard and let's edit the two options. Now, instead of just using the price of the product, I'm going to change it to discount price of linked product. And instead of a fixed amount, I'm going to choose a percentage and the percentage is going to be 10. So customers will get a 10% discount when buying this product as an add-on to the camera. Now, let's do the same for these film sheets discount price of link product 10% save save again back to the side refresh there now the price of the camera remains the same it's 62 euros but if I choose the case or the sheets, then I'm going to get a 10% discount on those products. 
which is a better deal. As a customer, if you were to buy a camera and you forgot about the sheets or the case and you saw it here with a discount, you will probably buy it. Now you might have realized that I selected the case first and then the sheets and then this one gets deselected. In order to change this, we need to go back to the side, select the options, advanced settings. This is selected by default, single selection type. The user can only select one of the options. We're going to change it to multiple selection type, save, save again. And if I go back, refresh, I'm going to select the case and I'm going to select the sheets. Add to card, view card. So right here in the card, you can see the camera that I was already buying and the two must haves that I chose to add when I saw them in the products page. So there you go, guys. That's how you can add products from your own store as options inside another products page. This way, encouraging your customers to purchase products that are related either because they would need it or they would be a great addition to the main product. And that's also how you can allow your customers to make multiple selections. Okay, guys, so that was it for our video today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and we'll see you again for our next video.